welcome again to this channel and in this video what we are simply going to do is we are going to be creating what you see on your screen inside of canva everything is going to be explained and just before we get into it if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel because this channel is all about canva and we want to be able to hit a hundred thousand subscribers by the end of this year so i'll be glad to have you join us and just in case you are using the free version of canva i have a link in the description box below that will help you upgrade to canva pro for free so make sure you are checking that out as well yeah, let's dive straight into the video. One thing you need to know is that you can find all the resources I'm going to use to create this design link below. Okay, so make sure you're checking that out as well so that you don't find yourself stuck in any way at all because I don't want that to happen to you. Okay, so let's dive straight into it. And um, yeah, this is what we have, every single thing we are going to need. So make sure you have a blank canvas with the dimension 1080 by 1350. And if you do not know how to create this, this is how to do it. Make sure you click on create a design, then come to custom size, okay? or you can search for Instagram and um, Instagram has this portrait okay so 1080 by 1350 you can just select it and you should get something like what we have over here okay so the first thing we are simply going to do is to come into element okay in element make sure you're coming into shapes and everything should be loaded beautifully click on the triangle shape okay and increase the size so something like this okay beautiful then go back scroll down make sure you're coming into frames click on see all okay and under frames we should have basic shapes okay so come into the basic shape and uh, make sure you're selecting this triangle okay and just resize it and place it over here then you can select this triangle okay you can place it over here then we can just click on this duplicate it position it over here okay duplicate it and move this up a little bit okay click this and move this up also you know just increase the size a little bit then duplicate it using ctrl d or command d if you're on mac okay and position this so this is what you should have okay nice so before we even continue filling this up i want us to work on the background okay so what we are simply going to do is to press r on your keyboard okay for a shape make sure you're rotating it so that it fits the edge okay over here okay something like this then increase the size okay then increase the size as well then increase the size here as well then you send this to the back okay and if just in case you don't know how to send it to the back you can right click come to layer then come to show layers okay so in show layers you just have to drag if it's in the font like this just drag it all the way to the back c'est clair in french c'est clair then you see we oui. <laughs> okay so after we do that we can just select this and delete it okay we don't need it anymore then we are going to change the color of this to white okay to change this to white or you can use an off gray okay a gray something like that uh -huh, something like this then you can just leave the background to be white or what you can also do is you can maybe have a darker color here and a brighter color over here so i'm going to increase this a little bit then we have something like this which is very very beautiful as well okay so what we are simply going to do is now we are going to be filling in with our image so the first image we are going to be using is this one so you can copy and paste it over here and we'll just leave it in here double click if you want to adjust it okay just double click and you should adjust you can increase the size as well if you want okay so this is what we have at the moment then the next image we are going to be looking for is this one okay so this is actually going to be our main image so copy it and paste it over here okay and make sure you don't move it directly on top because it will just fall into or it will be grabbed okay <laughs> by the photo lace okay or the photo frames okay so we can just use our arrow key press shift in the up arrow key okay or shift or any of the arrow keys to move it around then make sure you're sending it behind okay if you don't know how to send it behind what you need to do is come to layer again show layers and you know you just move it behind all the three frames as easy as that then duplicate it okay once you duplicate it just put it inside the frame okay 
then you can duplicate uh, double click or not duplicate okay and make sure everything is looking the same as we have over here okay so you can see what we are doing i'm just trying to make a match what we have behind okay so just in case you can't really see it let me zoom in more okay so you can see that right now it's almost the same so i can just maybe drop this a little bit uh -huh. okay to make it look perfect okay and it doesn't have to be 100 percent but at least it should be able to look very close okay so you can see what we have at the moment then as we've done this beautifully all i'm going to do is to click on the background image okay or the image we have at the back come to bg remover and it should remove the background okay once the background is removed you can bring it to the front and this is what we have at the moment okay so that's the same thing we are going to do for the other images okay so let me just reduce it then select this one okay paste it over here then we'll just flip okay so flip it and make sure we have it behind okay behind the frame okay so something like this and we can increase the size a little bit okay yeah a little bit like this then we duplicate it and place it inside the frame but you can see it's not dropping in the frame this is because we have this image in here okay so all we have to do is to make sure the little space we have in there we just drop it from there okay then double click and increase the size let it match what you have in the background okay nice one and you can be zooming in and be moving things around okay so you can see what we have very 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 interesting okay so i think yeah it's almost close you know, just keep adjusting it till you get you get how you want it to look okay so nice one i think this is very close we are not getting it 100 percent but it's still very close okay and i think yeah this should be fine then i click what we have behind come to edit photo and bg remover okay and everything should look beautiful like this all right then i'll select the background image and just crop it okay because i don't want it to interfere with any other image okay so something like that and the same thing for this okay select it and just crop it because we do not want it to interfere okay and i'll crop oh my god okay so the triangle make sure you don't alter or make tweak the triangle because once you shift it a little bit you can see everything will look distorted okay so make sure i leave it the way it is then we have our last image over here so i'll come here and choose this image copy it come here paste it over here okay then i'll just move it somewhere here okay and make sure it's behind all the elements okay every single one in here and i'll maybe place it somewhere here and maybe increase the size a little bit okay then duplicate it and position this inside the triangular photo frame then we increase the size to match what we have in the background okay so this should be very easy okay so you can see i think we are almost getting it all right so this is looking okay i think it's looking fine no 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 it's not looking fine okay so i think maybe we can let the background image match it okay yeah so i think the background image is matching it now then we can select the background image come to edit photo and remove the background okay so that we have something clean like this okay nice so then we can just select this one okay or the one behind then bring it forward okay yeah so we have something like this so you can see what we've been able to create okay no it should be in the front then we are simply going to add okay so you can see what's happening here make sure you reduce it a little bit so that it doesn't be making unnecessary things then select you know the texture the cement texture okay paste it in your design move it somewhere that wouldn't fall into any of these three um photo frames okay then select this we need to know the rotation okay so come to arrange 
and you see it's 29.3 so we select this and we just give it 29.3 as well uh oh 29.3 okay and everything should look almost the same then we increase the size like this and increase it like that move it up like this as well okay then we can move it just to make sure everything is looking very beautiful then right click layer show layers then we move it all the way to the back okay it should only be on top of the shape then come to position decrease the transparency no transparency and decrease the transparency not position okay <laughs> yeah then come to this map okay yeah then paste it over here as well set the rotation to 29.3 okay so 29.3 something like that okay then increase the size as well okay then we put it over here okay move it up and move it all the way here then come to transparency and reduce the transparency come to layers move it all the way down it should be on top of the cement texture okay something like that and if you want you can also apply some blur to it okay so maybe some slight blur to it and it should look something like this but i think without the blur it's it's fine okay then come into edit photo again come to the filters come to mono and choose a classic for it so you should have something like that now come to now press t on your keyboard to add the text okay and increase the text size then we come over here into the text selections then just search for horizon okay so you can see we have horizon here or you can choose graduate okay which should give you something like this so you can choose horizon okay and you can see whatever you want to see so i can see it all okay then we would come here increase the size okay then position it then center it okay center it right click layer show layers then i'll move it behind my behind the main image over here okay yeah the image with the removed background have it behind that then we can just tweak it a little bit by adjusting the color and the effect come to outline okay and choose black for it okay so we have something like this okay yeah then you can put in your message so maybe join us for an amazing uh, something okay so join us and you can reduce the size because we want this to be small okay it should be small and select it and move it over here and tweak it okay then come here and choose any font at all you want then add your message okay so with the message you can choose any font at all and you can change the color so maybe join us for an amazing or on an amazing so, so join us on an okay then position it here select all then reduce the size okay or the line spacing okay then you can reduce it a little bit and just put it in over here okay then we can just duplicate this again and say amazing amazing okay then we can just come in here and reduce the size okay so something like that lovely javelin okay so join us on an amazing tour and i'll increase this a little bit the thickness okay uh -huh. so that it gets to match all right all right okay then we can center this a little bit and move this one also in a little bit all right then we can add maybe any extra information so with this i can just paste it okay paste some messaging over here just to make it very easy for you all to follow then we can select everything and move it to the top a little bit okay so make sure you are fixing everything else okay so you drop it down drop it down so that it's covering maybe even this color i can change it to a dark yeah a darker color something like that and yes this is what we have been able to create inside of canva just in case you found this easy to follow and helpful please i would highly appreciate if you like this video comment what you think about it and share this video with your other canva friends the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video